One day before the start of the new high school or new school year rather and an area high school has to repair a $1.4 million upgrade to its football field. Well, this comes after someone spray painted graffiti on the brand new artificial turf at South Lakes High School in Reston. A Ross Plater joins us live now from the facility. So Ross, this vandalism really cuts deep there. It does indeed. They've been raising this money for the past couple of years. Bake sales, fundraisers, digging into their own pockets. One parent came by here this afternoon to see it for herself, and she said off camera, it makes me sick to my stomach. Sometime over the weekend, Vandal struck two brand new turf fields at South Lakes High School, both the stadium field and the community field. Tarps now cover what someone spray painted onto the turf, obscene versions of the Seahawk name, profanity and sexually explicit images too graphic to show on TV. It's shocking. It's it's terrible news. It's sad, um, especially when the community is so excited about something like the new turf fields. The fields were just put in over the summer at a cost of roughly one point four million dollars. Much of that money raised by the community with some parent groups even taking out loans. They're still paying back. It was hard enough to get the, the final funds for it to be, you know, to set it in motion. And now I don't even know what would, you know, what the cost is to repair something like that. Students told us they were looking forward to playing on the turf. Obviously with the rain and everything that we got last year, a lot of the games got canceled. So with the turf field, we could play, basically keep on schedule. But this is not how they thought they'd kick off the new school year. Got people really emotional about it, especially because it's a new turf field, $1.4 million. And we haven't even had it for a week and it's already gotten damaged. Whoever did this hopefully will be, um, you know, brought to justice and, uh, you know, the um, uh, fields will be fixed and we can move on. Well, here's the question. How do you fix it and who's going to pay for it? Those are unanswered questions right now. We're told by Fairfax County Police it is all under investigation. We're live in Reston on Ross Plater, ABC 7 News.